Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Azure Management Group. What is the purpose of Azure Management Group and why we should use or why we should consider Azure Management Group in our organization. So basically Azure Management Group provide a way to efficiently manage access policies and compliance across multiple Azure subscription by organizing subscription into containers called management groups so let's understand this particular line so this is if you can see this is a top level management group which is tenant root group so whenever you activate a management group service in your azure portal by default it will create a top level management group which name is tenant root group and under tenant root group you will create your child management group so if you can see in this particular diagram i have created a two management group one is it department and another is sales department so these two are our management group and under each management group i am managing two subscription so under it i have two subscription called dev and prod and similarly for sales i have a sales and demo subscription so that's how basically azure management work in a hierarchical way so it will provide a hierarchy so you can do lot more things here let's understand more in details so what are azure management groups azure management management groups allow you to organize your azure subscription into a hierarchy for unified management so when you use azure management group so you are basically making easy for your organization to manage all the resources all the subscriptions so everybody should be aware okay this user belongs to sales department then it should only have access to the sales subscription not in the prod or dev subscription so that is why basically it is very with the help of management group it is very easy to organize roles policies compliance for your organizations this hierarchy enable you to apply policies role based access control and compliance settings consistently across multiple subscription suppose if i'll go back to my previous slide suppose one user belongs to both it department and sales department now what you can do you can directly provide access to that particular user at a tenant root group then what will happen that particular user will have access on it department as well and whatever the subscription we have as part of it and similarly for sales so you you should not go to each subscription and assign the permission to that particular user you must directly uh, you just directly provide a permission at tenant root group of that particular user and he should have access in all the subscription which is part of tenant root group so that's how basically it's make easy for us to manage role permissions policies for our organizations you can grant or restrict access to entire set of resources by assigning roles at management group level so here we are assigning permission at management group level so we we know okay it department these many users will have access sales department these many users will have will have access so it's make us makes makes life easy for us to manage roles and permission of particular user or or of all the users management groups can be nested within each other creating a structure that mimic your organization hierarchy like department teams so suppose in it department again we have a three teams dev uh, qa and devops so now you can create a three subscription one for dev one for devops one for qa or uh, any other team which you have and you can manage all the roles permission and policy at a management group level for all the users which is part of all the subscriptions you can have up to 6 level of management group not including the root level if you exclude the tenant root group management group or uh, then after tenant root group you can still create 6 management group for your organization policies applied at management group level automatically cascade down to all the subscription and the resources within it this ensure consistency in governance and compliance across the board what does it mean basically so basically i'm assigning a permission to a uh, user a on id department now by default this user a which belongs to it department management group will have access on dev and prod subscription that particular user will not have access to sales and demo subscription so that's what it means 
Now let's understand what is the use case we should consider management groups. Pehla, first we have centralized policy enforcement. Ensuring that all subscription within an organization adhere to corporate policies such as security standard and cost management practice. So you have a central location where you can apply policy to all of your subscription which is part of that management group. So it is not like you have to go to each subscription and you will assign the policies or permissions. So you have a centralized location where you can enforce policy for all the users for all the subscriptions. Simplified access management, streamlining the assignment of roles and permission across multiple subscriptions without the need to configure each one individually. So there is no need to go to each subscription and assign permissions. You can simply assign permissions. Uh, if you have uh, international level organizations, you have multiple uh, child organization of uh, parents. In that case, you should consider management groups. Next, we have a use case here, organizational compliance. Maintaining, maintaining compliance with internal or external regulation by applying consistent rule across all the resources. So these are the use cases which you should consider if you want to use your management group. If you have a small organization like 50 or 100 people organization then I would not suggest you should use management group but if you have uh, one organization will have multiple departments and all departments are using your Azure services then it is good you should use management group so you will have a visibility of cost billing etc how you know, on what resources we are consuming a uh, lot of costs so that that basically you will have clear visibility on your resources or if i go back to my uh, azure portal so you can see here the management group this is the tenant root group which is by default created and i have only one subscription which is pay as you go so this subscription now is a part of tenant root group now if i create a, another management group here so let's uh, put it name here it so whatever the management group now we will create that will be a under tenant root group so after tenant apart from tenant root group you can still create six level of management group so it's processing it will take couple of minutes okay so it's completed so now you can see we have got the IT department management group now the subscription we have in tenant root group now what we can do if we want to move the subscription to IT management group to so simply go here and move and you can select here IT so we have only one management group that's why it's showing IT if we have multiple then you can select it so I'll just quickly go and save it so now the pay as you go subscription will be part of our IT management group but IT management group is still part of tenant root group so this is the default one and all the management group which you will create that will be part of your uh, custom child uh, management group which you will create so I hope it's clear how basically management group works and what is the purpose and how much it's beneficial for us to use. So that's all for today. See you next video. Thank you so much.